Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today we are doing an update on my 2022 Rolling Project Pan, which is a project where I'm continuously working on 10 items for my collection with the ultimate goal to use them up and get them out of my inventory. I've got somewhere to be so let's get started on these updates. We'll start with the product that's been in the longest and that is my Becca Afterglow palette, my beloved Becca Afterglow palette. I rolled this in February of this year and it was weighing 92.3 grams. So here's what it's been looking like over the past several months. I'm just going to kind of stall a little bit here because there's a lot of progress to share with you in the time that we have been working on this palette. I guess it's been now 10 months. I've been finishing this pan by pan, slowly, 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 but we are getting so close to finishing it up. Here's what it was looking like most recently. We had just that last shade remaining, Topaz, in the center. And I've been using this shade as a bronzer to try and finish up that remaining product. Here's what it was looking like last month. It was weighing 69.9 grams. I used it 31 times in the past month, and I was really hoping to use it up. This month, it's weighing 69.18 grams. I used 0.72 grams of product, but unfortunately, we have not quite yet finished it. Here's what it's looking like today. And you'll see we are so stinking close, but there is just a little bit more product down there in the corner and it will take us at least another month to get this thing finished up which is okay I know we've made a huge amount of progress in those 31 uses and I guarantee this will not be going with me into 2023 we'll have this palette finished by January and that'll just be a little fun finale for us to share in the new year so not quite there yet but it's coming around the bend and I'm excited for it this month was just kind of a tricky month. I don't know. I didn't quite make the goals that I thought I would, even though I did wear a lot of makeup. I'm also getting over being sick. I've been sick for about a week, and if I sound weird, that's why. But it's just kind of been an off couple days, and I haven't been wearing makeup, obviously. So there's a little bit of usage that I missed there. Next, we have my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. This came in in July of this year, and it was weighing 154.87 grams when we brought it in. Last month, I was so close to having this finished up. So it was weighing 123.33 grams last month. I used it an additional eight times. I opened it up, I scraped it out. I used the remaining 2.13 grams of product, and it is now completely empty. I scraped out all the remaining products that I could. I couldn't reach like the areas up here around the top, but, I'm gonna call that an empty. I couldn't get any more product out. In total, I used up 33.67 grams of product. So it says there's only one fluid ounce in here, but that's more than one fluid ounce. 33.67 grams, I'm pretty sure is more than a fluid ounce. So yeah, we got a little bit of bonus product in there. And yeah, it was a great value, it was a great foundation. I loved the finish of it. It lasted pretty well. It wasn't like an all day foundation, but I would definitely repurchase this in the future if I was in the market for a drugstore foundation. Our next item is from Revlon. It is their Kiss Plumping Lip Cream, which is like this plumping lip gloss. It's not really a gloss, but it's a gloss type product that they have since discontinued, I'm pretty sure. I brought this in to the project in July and it was weighing 11.2 grams. Here's what it's been looking like over the past several months. We have been making some steady progress on this and getting that tube skinnier and skinnier and skinnier. Here's what it was looking like last month. It was weighing 8.43 grams. During the past month, I only reached for it nine times, which I think is pretty disappointing, but today it's weighing 7.67 grams. So I used 0.76 grams of product and here's what it's looking like today. So you can see it is still quite skinny. We still have a significant amount of product down there at the base. I'm still gonna try and finish this by the end of the year. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I kind of dropped the ball this month. I was just focused on a lot of lip products and my lips are very, very dry right now because of the medication that I'm on and this just does not do good things for dry lips. So who knows? By the end of the year, I might just see where I'm at and declutter this. It's just not a product that I really love. It's not working with my lips in the state that they're in right now. I just don't want to force it much more longer. So we'll see how far I can get. I'll update you on that next month and we'll go from there. Next, we have an item from the Tartiste Pro Glow Palette. I'm working on the cream contour in here in the shade Shade, and this has been really fun to work on. I've been wanting to finish the cream product in here for a while, just before it goes bad, but I've really been enjoying having this palette out and reaching for it. It's been really enjoyable. Love the highlighters. I've been using the bronzer recently, and it's been great to get good use on it. So here's what Shade has been looking like over the past couple months. I brought this in in September of this year. It was weighing 266.58 grams. Here's what it was looking like last month. 
when it was weighing 263.4 grams. I used it 28 times in the past month, and today it's weighing 261 grams. I used 2.4 grams of product, and here's what it's looking like today. And um, yeah, how frustrating is it that I didn't finish this product? Again, if I hadn't been sick over the past week, I would have used up that remaining little bit of cream. I maybe have, I would guess, three or four more applications there. But unfortunately, we are gonna keep it in one more month. Being so close to the end of the year, I don't really feel in the mood to bring in another item unnecessarily. So we will just, you know, get the remaining uses on that and then update you next time with an empty for sure. But I've also been getting use on the rest of this palette as well. I've been reaching for the highlights and the bronzer, as I just said. So take a look at those as well. I especially have been reaching for this top highlighter here, Lit, and it has a nice little dip in it. I'm hoping to get pan on that eventually. And then I've also been reaching for this. I love this as like an inner corner and brow bone highlight. And these two are a little bit dark for me right now, but I have been reaching for Sculpt, the bronzer, and maybe you can see like a little bit of a dip in there. And I've really been enjoying that one as well. It kind of reminds me of Hula a little bit. I'm gonna continue to use that as well. That might be something that I pan in the next year. So I'll keep you updated on that one. And this one might even be rolled in into 2023. This next item rolled in in September of this year as well, and that is my Bite Beauty lipstick. This is their Amuse Bouche lipstick, and I have the shade Sake here. This was weighing 20.29 grams when I brought it into this project, and it was looking like this. I made a big jump on it during the first month, but it's been pretty slow progress since then. I just haven't been reaching for it as much. My attention has been divided between quite a few lip products, so that's okay. I have a lot of lip products to use, so I'm not upset about that. Here's what it was looking like last month. It was weigh 19.84 grams. I used it five times in the past month, not counting any reapplications. That's just five days that I wore this shade of lipstick. This month is weighing 19.55 grams. So I used 0.29 grams of product. And here's what it's looking like today. You can see that B there on the side is starting to be affected. It's like almost halfway down the B. And I was able to draw a new line on my little lipstick tracker over here so i'll show that to you as well so yeah here is where it was last month in november where it says november this line here and then just below it is where we are this month in december so i did make a little bit of a jump and a little bit more than the previous month so that feels good but not as much as i would like to see this is definitely going to take me a few more months to finish i know we'll get there but it's just going to be a little bit slow going i think that it is a little bit lower especially on the b side than where this line is but i drew it at the tip obviously, because, um, you know, that's where we're measuring from. So there was a little bit more product here used than maybe we can see in the visual. So that feels good. I know that I used a good amount of product. What I say I used, um, let's see, where is it? I used 0.29 grams of product. Yeah, that's a lot more product than I used the previous month. So that feels good. Even if we're not seeing the visual progress, we know that progress is being made. This next item was rolled in in October, and that is my Jeffree Star Liquid Lip in the shade Androgyny. This is the shade on my lips today. And as you know, I've been trying to work through my liquid lipstick collection and get use on these older liquid lips so I can see how their formula is doing and maybe get them out of my collection. So these are definitely some of my oldest liquid lips, or if not the oldest liquid lips in my collection. And um, this one's definitely ready to go. My goal was to use this 10 times, not to use it up. It was weighing 26.69 grams when I brought it in. Last month, I had used it three times, so I had seven more uses to reach my goal. Last month, it was weighing 26.61 grams. And I'm happy to say that I did indeed use it seven times in the past month, with today being my seventh use. I was like, I'm not getting through this video without reaching that 10 use goal. So we're slapping it on no matter what we're wearing, no matter what our look looks like. So there you have it. Today is weighing 26.41 grams. So I used 0.2 grams of product in the past month. And that means I used 0.28 grams total in those 10 uses. And this formula is getting quite dry. You can see that the wand is like dry and cakey. It's not like liquidy, it's not wet. It's very just kind of like mud. So it's gonna go. I don't really like love this shade anyways. It's definitely not my favorite shade to wear. And it like works with certain looks and it definitely like gives a vibe, but it's not necessarily my vibe all the time. So we are decluttering this one, saying goodbye to it, throwing it in the trash. It's life has come to an end. And that's one less liquid lip in my collection. So we are on the up and up. We are making progress and that's what this is all about. This next item was rolled in in October as well, and that is my 
not my makeup forever powder foundation this is actually a makeup revolution powder foundation repressed into the makeup forever compact here's what it was looking like when i first rolled it in it was weighing 80.75 grams during the first month i reached for it only five times so it wasn't much of a difference in the next month it was looking like this last month weighing 80.61 grams i was much better in the month of november i reached for the 17 times making for a total of 22 uses Today it's weighing 79.86 grams, so I've used 0.75 grams of product, and here's what it's looking like today. And I am hoping that you're seeing what I'm seeing and are excited for me. There's a little baby pan in there that feels really good. I'm excited just to see the progress on this powder over the next several months. I've been using this as a powder foundation. It's true intention for day-to-day -day makeup use, using mostly a concealer for, you know, major coverage, and then using this just to kind of do the rest of the coverage across the rest of my face. And I've been enjoying it. My skin is not so dry where I can't get away with the powder foundation right now. And it does make my makeup application in the morning a little bit faster and easier. So that is much appreciated. So we'll continue to work on that one. I'm excited to see just how this pan grows and expands. And I might have to repress this at some point because it's just kind of a little funky in there, but um, that's okay. We will do that when we have to and we will continue to work on that one. And I'll let you know how it looks next month. The next item came in just last month and that is a nail polish. I have been working on this nail polish from Sally Hansen. This is their Miracle Gel formula and this is the shade Persuade. And I've been really enjoying using this. I have it on my nails today. This is a really easy shade for me to wear. I just feel like it's very neutral, it goes with everything, it complements my skin tone and I really do enjoy it. Last month this was weighing 67.45 grams. I used this in six manicures and maybe five manicures and a pedicure, but six total, you know, applications in the past month. Today it's weighing 65.34 grams. So I used 2.11 grams of product. It has made a difference going down, but I drew a line with like a grease pencil. You know what I'm talking about? But it wore away, it didn't last. It's the Sharpie wears away. I don't know how you all do this. I guess I could use like another nail polish to mark this. I've just been lazy. I don't really feel like doing it, at least not right now. Maybe here when I rolled it in and now it's like here. So there, so there you have it. It was like here, now it's here. There, 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 there. Trust me, trust me. <laughs> There's a difference. I'm excited to continue to use this. It's gonna take me a couple months, but I'm excited to have an empty nail polish for probably the first time in my life. At least like a colored nail polish, not like a base coat, not a top coat, but a colored nail polish to finish it. I think that'll feel pretty satisfying. This next item was also brought in last month. It's from Amika. This is their The Shield Anti-Humidity Spray, which I'm not really sure what the purpose of this product is. I'm not like a hair person. I don't like style my hair a lot. I don't know a lot about styling products. I don't know um, like how to make hair look good. I mean, as you can tell, like, I mean, this was... It's a mess. But anyways, I think this is like supposed to extend your style and just kind of protect from humidity, as it says. But again, like, does it? I don't know. I don't know if I noticed a difference. This weighed 47.48 grams when I rolled it in. I used it two times in the past month. I just haven't been styling my hair a lot. I've been really busy. I've been sick. It's been a weird month. Even in those two uses, I made a big dent. Today, it is weighing 37.43 grams, so I used 10.05 grams of product, um, but we still have product remaining in there. I think that with maybe two or three more uses, we should be able to finish that up, but uh, we're not quite there yet. Hopefully, by next month, we'll have another empty. And the last item also rolled in just last month, and that is super randomly from Mary Kay. It is their Satin Lips Lip Mask, which I've had for years and years and years, but this has been good for helping to exfoliate my lips in the morning before I put on a lip product. Um, I don't know how much it's really helping, but that's supposed to be its job, and um, I need all the help I can get. So this one was weighing 9.93 grams when I rolled it in last month. I used it 17 times. Today it's weighing 9.07 grams, so I used 0.86 grams of product. And here's what it's looking like today. I didn't like do my best effort to get all of the air out of here or anything. It's pretty um, jam-packed in there down at the bottom so I didn't want to like waste any product but yeah I think we've definitely you know made a little bit of a dent I think this is probably going to take me a while there's quite a bit of product in there still and you don't use very much of it when you apply it so 
your guess is as good as mine. We'll continue to work on that one and see how long it takes us. Okay, so I am rolling out two products, that Flower Beauty Foundation and that lipstick from Jeffree Star. We get to bring in two new items to this rolling project pan. And surprise, surprise, one of them is another liquid lip from Jeffree Star. This is one of my last liquid lips. I only have like two others other than this one. But this is another one of the very old ones that is getting quite dry. And this is in the shade Mannequin. Pretty pale nude shade. I don't wear pale nudes very often, but I do like wearing them in the winter time. And I think that I can definitely find 10 times to use this over the next month or two. I really do love wearing a pretty nude with like a really smoky look. So I think that'll be really fun for like December, for New Year's and for any like, you know, fun parties. And nudes are just like easy to wear, especially with a liquid lip. Like I don't like wearing deep liquid lips if I'm like going to an event where I'll be eating a lot. There's just too much maintenance, um, but this one will be easy peasy. So you all know I plan on eating a lot over the holiday season. So my goal for this one, just like the other ones, will be 10 uses. I'll see how it performs. It does seem a little bit more creamy than Androgyny was doing in its tube. So who knows, maybe I'll even keep it around a little bit longer than that. Decided to get 10 uses on this. Today it's weighing 26.22 grams and We'll see how much I can use it in the next month. The last item we're going to roll in is this concealer from Too Faced. This is their Born This Way concealer. I just want to cycle through concealers. I've been buying a couple and this is the oldest one in my collection and it pairs really well with my Makeup Revolution Powder Foundation. So we're going to work on this one for the next couple months. It's weighing about 64 grams. I'll insert the weight right here because I weighed it and now I forgot because I didn't have time to write it down. But yeah, it's gonna take a while, I know. But if I'm using it like mostly as a foundation or like, you know, concealer around my face and then putting powder foundation over it, I think I'll be able to make use of it pretty quickly. I've already noticed like a difference in the um, level just since I've been using that powder foundation. So I'm excited to work through this. I know there's a lot of product in here, so it's gonna be maybe a little bit slow going, but It'll be fun to just track along with you. There you have it, everybody. That is my update for my rolling project pan. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are getting geared up into the holiday season and enjoying all the fun festivities that this time has to offer. I'm very excited to make some more content for you for this holiday season. I'm trying my best. I mean, I'm really, really busy right now, but I have like a ton of video ideas that I really would love to get created for you. So please look forward to that. Offer me some encouragement. And I just hope you're all doing really well and taking care of yourself and that you're around the people that you love and that make you feel good and are just feeling all the feels there are to feel during this holiday season. Take care of yourself and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!